guys, this is Mitesh and I have the latest hack for your Sprint Carrier Logged iPhone 5. This, as you can see, is a CDMA iPhone 5 Logged to Sprint Carrier. Well, I'm, I'll be using two important things in this video. Uh, one of which is the uh, i5 that you can get from Cydia. All you need is a jailbroken iPhone 5. Well, there's nothing much you have to do. You don't have to pay me, pay anyone to get this working. And this is the latest hack you can get. Well, there are many hacks out there, but this is the best you can get. You don't have to pay for the r pass to get LTE and other things. Well, 3G, 2G are working perfect again on a 64K, 128K and 256K SIM card operators. Well, this is this not actually such a huge hack or something like that this is something tricking the iPhone software well it works flawless well, like you can get your SMS working you can get your international SMS working you can get your uh, call quality perfect as you can as you know there's a carrier bundle hack for iPhones uh, using a carrier lab you know the bundle of carrier lab to get it working straight but in that you'll have terrible call quality I mean you literally can't hear the other side what he's speaking with using this hack you can get amazing voice quality you can have perfect working messages and you can have 2G 3G everything working and your phone works like you almost won't know it's a log phone it works it has all the functionalities that a, a log phone has and this even has a extra feature you can even get personal hotspot to work and your signal is always about it's always you know full if you have a good sim that's completely dependent on the network and the battery is around 20% better than using our sim without uh, our sim you know like 20% better with this patch well if you are just using stock our sim on a sprint unlocked iphone 5 on 10.1.2 you might just have calls going and messages not working and other things uh, and you can install the patch for iPhone 5 and all, you know, you can get it working but at the rate of some stupid things, no setup hotspot, options, LG problems and stuff. Well, and if you want to fix that, you need to buy our patch. Well, this is the best, it's free, works for all this and I recommend you guys not to update to iOS 8 because and don't update until we have a iOS 8 jailbreak. So, meanwhile, we'll stick to iOS 10.1.2 and here I have the iPhone 5 which is logged to our sim, uh, which is unlocked using our sim. I'll be using this to show you the whole unlock process and you know it's actually now working and you'll see full signal it has. I don't want to show you. I'll just show you while I'm making the main video. Well this video has been recorded after doing the whole process so your phone should exactly look like this as I have it now at the end of the time. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, now there's a quick video on my latest first iOS hack that I've made. As you can see, I'm using our sim, well, and it's the log to sprint. Well, I'm not gonna waste much time showing you all that. Well, I'll just show you what to do. Well, in order to, you know, begin working with the hack, all you have to do is wait, let me show this step. This step is very, 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 very important okay first of all take off your sim card and place it and hold on a second yeah and then you go to system library well if you don't this also no big deal but you know just for the safety and you scroll down if you are locked to sprint this should work on all sprint devices i'm using an iphone as you can see the camera and hold on yeah scroll down to sprint as yeah you will find this well actually uh, it will not be like this I've renamed the folder well as you can see I've just added dot final back well I've done this you know so I can have a backup of the original files so all you do is just rename that and even this bundle just go ahead and you don't have to do this sorry 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 just not in related so as you can see I've made two backups you know just for testing purpose I did that you don't have to do all that you just click on this 
I rename it to whatever the hell you want except the original thing okay so once that's done you're basically almost you know done uh, and yeah done with setting setting up now all you have to do is go to Cydia well you can insert your RSM no big deal I just want to show you that it is logged and it'll jump to the activation and I'll just yeah I'll show you how to do it uh, okay it will take a while searching for the signal meanwhile I'll show you how to get your respiratory set up uh, yeah so I'll just delete it and show it to you again you know just for tutorial purpose uh, this is the first time I've made a iOS hack well I've done many Macintosh and Windows but this is completely different well I forgot my repo hold on a second I'll just check on my PC okay so it's www dot my repo space dot com and then you type in my name with a capital M okay hold on a second okay so we really really this embarrassing now Okay, CD out of my repo space. CD out my repo space dot com, and after that you click M W -E T E A H. Well, as you can see, you have to type in this, and it'll show you something like this well as you can see the phone has already got signal but the thing is i can't make i can only make calls i can't you know send messages have 3g and all that well all you have to do yeah and after installing this hack you know everything's gonna work like literally you click on this and there is mitesh rsim 2g 3g voice calls and sms ios 10.1 works with 10.1.2 of course and you can see the instructions well, I've made it so I know everything about it. What's good, what's bad, and everything's good, nothing's bad. Well, for Indian carriers, especially, this is a bonus. And yeah, the hack is not in a hundred kilobytes. It's a really, really lightweight hack. And you don't, yeah, after doing this, just pop out your. Hold on a second, I'll just zoom in. Uh, so basically, what you have to do after this is take out your sim card our sim card and place it aside and restart your phone once and click on power button and restart your phone well after that take off the our sim and put this in and well let the phone start up then we can work with that phone will take a while to start up so I think I'll just skip the video you know make it faster here at this particular moment okay <coughs> as you can see I'm using the RSM 7 plus works perfect with iOS 7.1.2 sorry guys I could show you everything about the phone and you know all those things but I couldn't I didn't have time I'm really really in a hurry so I'll just skip to the installation things and you know cut it out on the things not important see as you can see no sim card installed and go ahead and insert your sim without the R sim and yes guys if you have a voice call quality issue then this will fix that too that's the main reason I even made the hack Uh, once you do it should start searching for signal and you know jump back to the activation screen Searching 
and yes guys just if you want to make sure that the hack was installed perfect then I'll show you how to do that too well as you can see now we'll be stuck at the activation screen sim not valid and I blah 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 well let it be in there for a while well don't think this is gonna replace your sim or something that's that's the kind of hack that you know it's really tough to make Well, probably if we work hard and think enough maybe we could do that one day and when I s remove the sim and press ok it'll just go back to the home screen make it fast phone we are not having all day you know that right ok so and yeah I wanna show you how to make sure setting and go to settings general about and you'll notice one really really weird thing well first of all you'll notice that this just shows carrier 16.1 nothing much and yeah this is just like basically it's there how how it should be but hack comes in here when you insert the r sim well this i haven't tested it with all the sims but if you're having similar problems with the rebel sim or any other sim card then it should just work like you know like a magic as you can see I've placed my RSIM and then let's go ahead and plug it into the phone it should take a while to load up the signals doesn't take that much time you know should be pretty quick as you can see that it's searching and yeah here comes the magic as you can see it shows bell 16.0 well I've chosen bell 16.0 because it is the most vulnerable network that you can find for iPhone 5 uh, trust me guys it's more vul vulnerable than our carrier lab that's like the most easy way to hack but that will give you bad sound quality issues on this specific iPhone 5 with Sprint CDMA and it'll show you now SIM card install just all you have to do is make sure that okay we have to reinsert the RSIM sorry guys this will mm, we're making this a little bad oh sorry really really sorry guys I forgot that it has stopped recording so all uh, nothing much it's just showing no SIM still We'll have to go ahead and restart the phone. And after that, our networks, 3G, 2G, SMS should be working alright. Like, perfect. Not just alright, just perfect. So, it will take a while to restart. I think it's booting up now I'm telling you guys it's only f the only the first time this happens next time it should just work perfect well no sim what the fuck I think I have to place in the arson properly okay sorry guys really 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 sorry I don't want to look like a fool wasting your time okay yeah I think it's yeah thank god so really really sorry guys I can't be more sorry than this as you can see when you come to phone is unlocked and it's searching oh, come on you can be so fast uh, yeah uh, actually I'm having bad signal coverage um, it'll just you know get full in a while and then I'll dim yeah uh, there you go yeah and for example if you yeah and even it'll show bill I'll just show you that everything's working all right yeah it'll just show you bell no just click no it won't update anyway it's been patched to not update carrier bell 16.0 and let me demonstrate everything is working all right now
hello I just send that to okay damn to whom did I send that oh yeah more and as you can see it's sent and imbalance was deducted for that and now I'll go ahead and show you what oh yeah internet this is one of the things that you guys love don't you just go ahead and yeah and uh, this is a special thing personal hotspot is also working guys yeah I know it's awesome and yeah just you have either as you can see and then just go ahead and load even 3d is working don't worry you just have to you know use the our uh, iros tool to get that working too okay as you can see 2g is also working i'll just go ahead and show 3g too well i don't have 3g balance sorry guys really sorry and i'll call customer okay Thanks for watching guys, uh, yeah, if you have any problem with the hack, actually there are no problems, I've tested it, just in case you can just restore the original sprint file that was here. You can uninstall my hack and then, you know, uh, rename back your original sprint file yeah this one whatever it was the backed up one i've actually made two backups thanks for watching guys yeah i think this should give you a feel that your iphone is not logged whatsoever factory unlocked well actually it's not if you insert the sim without the rsim then probably it's not gonna work but once you have rsim and you have my hack or the patch it should just work flawless uh, yeah, and even the personal hotspot is working perfect. Uh, you use Bluetooth usually, but yeah, let's see. Chop, chop, and is working perfect. Understand, rice, 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 rice. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, uh, the links in the description and everything you need. Thanks for watching.